Muppet Show with our very special guest star, Claudia Christian! Yeah! It's time to play the music! It's time to light the lights! It's time to beat the fall on the Muppet Show tonight! It's time to spoon some pop songs, sing lyrics that are right! It's time for fun music on the Muppet Show tonight! The con staff must have flipped. We should have seen this coming since Luke's he wrote the script. It's time to get things started on the cause commotional, absurd notional, crazed devotional, self promotional. This is what we call a bumpet show. Hello, thank Thank you, thank you everyone, and welcome again to the Fumpet Show. We have a great show for you tonight featuring our very special guest star, Claudia Christian. Whoa. Yes, yes. We're also going to pay tribute to our favorite convention, the Twin Cities' own MarsCon. So to get things started, we... Excuse me, Luke Ski. Oh, uh, hi, Rob Balder. What do you think about us paying tribute to MarsCon? Oh, I find it highly inappropriate. Why... <laughs> MarsCon isn't about raucous, silly music done with contemporary instrumentation. You don't say. No. MarsCon is about celebrating decades of literary science and fantasy fiction by bringing in celebrated authors. MarsCon is about furthering the intellectual pursuits of science. MarsCon is about raising money for worthy causes with their charity auction. MarsCon is about showing reverence toward the old guard of fandom. That's very true, Rob. Oh, hey, can I interest you in a refreshment from the 13th floor? That's quite generous of you, thank you. Wow, that's that's got quite a kick to it. Party! 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 That's why I never touch this stuff. And now to pay tribute to the fabulous room parties of MarsCon, give it up for Possible Oscar! Yay! What happens at the con stays at the con. That's all the information you need. Come Monday morning, never get what went on. Strange goings on indeed. Over there, there's Megatron. Taking a whiz on the hotel lawn. Wonder Woman's up on the balcony. Flashing her goods for everybody to see And there in the corner she sits Tank girl drunk in her alphabets Vader took a swing at a Tuscan Raider Who took a nasty fall down the escalators Where else would you go To see Sailor Moon in the hot tub of Frodo What happens at the con stays at the con It's really not supposed to make sense Come Monday morning, never forget what went on Debauchery and decadence Boy, I can't wait to get to the 13th floor and drink all the alcohol in sight Why, Wingard? Are you that much of a lush? No, I need to kill the brain cell that'll remember this show <laughs> <laughs> oh. Excellent performance! Way to go! Oh, Luke Ski! Hello, Carrie. I was just wondering, when will I get to sing my song about outer space? Uh, I'm sorry, Carrie. There isn't room for you to do that song in this episode. Well, can't you just wobble things around and create some extra time? Uh, no. Despite what some other programs have implied, time cannot be manipulated like that. Time is, in fact, linear. It travels in one direction in a straight line. You know what else travels in one direction in a straight line? What's that? Your face! hi And now, with a classic tune and tribute to the celestial heavens, please welcome the very dainty Carrie Dalby. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. I think it was wrong for that star to have done that. That star wasn't wrong. That star was meteorite. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, folks, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. 
Up next, we have a... Hey, Lukeski, stop the show for just a second. Uh, sure, Shoebox, what seems to be the problem? Well, you've neglected to mention the fact that MarsCon has an art show and a gaming track. And so, to properly pay tribute, I would like to perform some art about gaming for the audience right now. Hey, that is a great idea! Okay, Shoebox, everybody, go, go! And now, I, Shoebox of Worm Quartet, will recite a memorized selection from the 1977 first edition Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual while giving a root canal to a werewolf. A beholder is an aberration comprising a floating spheroid body with a large fanged mouth and a single eye on the front and many flexible eye stalks on the top. A beholder's eyes each possess a different magical ability. The main eye projects an anti-magical zone and the other eye uses different spell-like abilities to disintegrate objects. Rescue plus the stone! Go sleep! Now you can see why we made him guest of honor. Let's move on to our next act. Uh, he's the guy with the orange hair making all the jokes. It's the delightful, delirious, devastating Devo Spice! Yay! Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, Mars Khan! Thank you, thank you, and thank you! Hey everybody, what do you call a Jedi who's 1,200 feet tall? Luke Skyscraper! Waka, waka, waka! Could this guy be any worse off? Not really. He's a nerd. He's from New Jersey. And he's a ginger! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Here's one for all you Babylon 5 fans. Why didn't anybody care when Londo helped Jakar's people? Because it was a Narn issue! Ah! With jokes like that, there's one thing this guy doesn't have to be afraid of. Oh, what is that? Gaining a mainstream audience. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got a killer joke for all the old comedy music fans and hackers out there. You ready? What did the voiceover actor use to clean up the files on his old IBM compatible? A DOS butler! Ah? Okay, that joke was so obscure, even you didn't get it. Yeah, even I didn't. Oh. Oh, I am so lost. Have you tried Harry Krishna? <laughs> hey, come on. I hadn't even made a joke yet. That wasn't us. Obviously, since it was done so quickly and was actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, turn on those house lights. Who said that? I'm Petra Servo, and he's Sport Q Robot. And we're laying some riff tracks down on this cinematic Titanic. <laughs> you little whippersnappers. You think we're going to take that from a talking soap bottle and a busted gumball machine? Oh, yeah? Well, you two are so old, you could have invented binary code. But you didn't, because they're both zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Oh, that's it. I'm coming down there. Wait, Winger, you're on a ah, ah, down. Ah. What the... I win! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! And now, Brits in Space! Thank you for riding the Stonehenge Express, making stops from Alpha Centauri to Cardiff. Remember, when crossing between interdimensional planes, please mind the gap. Good on you, Lieutenant Charlie. What a smashing day to command this chariot of fire on the motorways of the cosmos to infinity and across the pond. Ensign Rich, report. All passengers secured their bums in seats before we departed space dock, Commander Dan. Some American blakes had their knickers in a twist because there wasn't enough room to check all their bags. So, what did you tell them? Keep calm and carry on luggage. We, we are, are not amused. amused. Blimey! What's all this, then? Sensors indicate that the weight from the extra luggage has thrown a spanner in the works. The engines are knackered, making our warp field frightfully dodgy. We're flying on the wonk, and if we don't bugger off soon, we're bollocksed. Attention, passengers. Don't panic! Remain in your seats. Androids, this turbulence may damage your hearing receptors, so be sure to box your ears. If you're travelling with small android children... Be sure to box their ears before boxing yours. Keep a stiff upper lip, mate. Lieutenant Charlie, recommendations? Well, Commander Dan, if we filled the rubbish from the dustbin and put it in the biscuit tin in the lift in the underground metro tube and then light a torch, then, well, Bob's your uncle. In under a fortnight, we'll be clear of this poppycock on holiday in a proper posh pub watching cricket on the telly, eating chips, having a pint, and chatting up a daft crumpet in the loop. 
Cheerio and Toodle Pip. What the bloody hell does that mean, you prat? I don't know, but it makes more sense than the techno babble on Star Trek. It's a fair cop. Wait, Commander, I have a cunning plan. We stored our access record collection in a couple of the escape pods. If we eject one of the two, we'll be light enough to sack this turbulence. By Jove, I think you've got it. So, should I eject the One Direction albums or the Freddie Mercury albums? God, save the Queen. Rightio. Jolly good show, Enton Rich. Fancy a spot of tea? You know what they say, it's four o'clock somewhere. (sighs) Yes indeed, lads. It sure is great to be an urban spaceman. I'm the urban spaceman, baby, I've got speed. I've got everything I need. I'm the urban spaceman, baby, I can fly. I'm a supersonic guy. I don't feel pleasure, I don't feel pain. If you were to knock me down, I'd just get up again. I'm the urban spaceman, baby, here comes the twist. I don't exist. What do you think of that, Wingard? My brain hurts! <sighs> Let's see, what's next? Ah, yes, where is my gopher? Ian! Yes, Chief? Could you please escort our very special guest star, MarsCon 2013 actress guest of honor, Claudia Christian, to the stage for our musical number? Right away, boss. It will be such a joy and an honor to sing a duet with Claudia Christian. She can act. She can sing. She can improvise. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's corrugated. She's corrugated. She... What? Ian! This is not Claudia Christian. This is a cardboard standee of Claudia Christian. What? You think opening ceremonies has a budget to book the real Claudia Christian? Oh, but we can afford this? Of course. We paid the flat rate. Ah! Just get it on the stage! Funny. She's a lot taller in person. Just go out there and introduce us, Ian. And now, a musical number with two individuals. One is a two-dimensional personality, and the other is Claudia Christian. Shut up, Ian! Here's my boss, the great Luke Ski. Ivanova. 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 Oh, Ivanova's on the bridge of the Enterprise, translating aliens for Kirk. She fights further rebellion with Han Solo in a metal bikini and. No? Uh, Ivanova. 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 Oh, Ivanova led the brown coats. She went right through the star gate. In the TARDIS, she. Frack! Ivanova. 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 You know, they say understanding is a three-edged sword. Yeah? Well, I wish I had one to put myself out of this misery. (laughs) Carla Ulbricht to the stage, please. I repeat, Carla Ulbricht to the stage. She's already on the stage, Chief. Oh, good. At least one thing won't be difficult today. What puny human summons me to the staging area? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken, sir. Uh, I just called for Carla Ulbrich. And that is me, Carla Ulbrich of the IKV Reich Hill. I am here to sing Klingon opera. You have not heard Les Miserables until you have heard it in the original Klingon. Really? What's the difference? Much more misery. Now where is the stage? It's right over there. Onward to victory. Kaplach. He couldn't do any worse than Russell Crowe. 
And now, in tribute to Mars Khan's costuming track and Klingon presence, actually, I'm not sure what you're about to see, but I'm pretty sure its name is Carla Ulbrich. <laughs> I say potato and you say Nah! I say tomato and you say Herg! Potato! Nah! Tomato! Herg! Let's call the whole thing off. I say pajamas and you say Niv Nuff! I say bananas and you say Hadabach! Pajamas! Niv Nuff! Bananas! Hadabach! Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. And oh, be jig, be cool, box, be keg. Don't you know any English? Surrender or die. Okay, then if you say Lou, I'll say okay. You say Kai Bay, I'll say no problem. Dop, whatever. No trouble. What we better call the calling of all. Let's call that whole thing off. Cha, which losh. You know, the Klingons say that revenge is a dish best served cold. I say the best revenge is forcing your enemies to watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, the show is about over, folks, and... Party! Uh, party! 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 <laughs> party! <laughs> perfect timing, Rob. It's time for the closing number. We need you to... Booze! Cheese whiz! Women! <laughs> Hey, how about coffee? Coffee, 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 coffee. Yes, have some. Oh, 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 oh yes, that, that quite hit the spot. What were you saying again? You're on. Oh, of course, yes. The same thing works on Lindsay Lohan. And now, our closing number. Whether it's literature or media, it's our collective love of speculative fiction that brings everyone together at MarsCon as one big loving family. And here to pay tribute to that is the creator of the Fump and the Logan Awards, Mr. Rob Balder. That waitress at Pete's who took so long to seat you and left you to stand in the doorway. With her stringy red hair and her thousand-yard stare In her mind, she's the princess of Norway As she takes down your order, she's crossing the fjord Her white stallion spits foam like a madman Many Vikings have died trying to take her as bride But her heart is reserved for a bad man Rich fantasy lies Somehow she survives in a world she contrives Inhibited husbands and frustrated wives lead rich fantasy lives That guy from IT resurrects your PC with a boredom he barely suppresses Though he rarely converses He keeps more universes in his head Than you've got addresses He war games through weekends Leads armies and legions He doesn't care how well you put it He's browsing reality's infinite palette He's seen yours, yours doesn't cut it Rich fantasy lies Our peace-funded knives and our hyperspace drives Until that steam engine to Hogwarts arrives We'll have rich fantasy lies Rich fantasy lies our quests and our tribes and our Babylon fives Until something better than this world arrives We'll lead rich fantasy lives Rich fantasy
Well, not everything went as planned, especially in the having an actual guest star department. But before we go, we want to give a special hand to you, the con staff and patrons of MarsCon! Yay! Luke, Luke, wait! I was able to get you an actual guest of honor. Really? Well, quick, bring him on! And, uh, who are you? I'm a hairy turtle dog. Will you get out of here? We'll see you next time on the Fumpet Show! Yay! Welcome to MarsCon 2013! Yay!